Hello lovely people and welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Panches and let's get right into it. So today I'm going to be doing my first live commentary playing some death run on the Hive server. Uh, it's one of my favourite game types on the server apart from New Sky Wars which I find very interesting. They have the, uh, the ores and things like that that give you different random drops and power ups which I quite like. So today I'll be doing my first live commentary, talking mostly about the game as I play it really, but there might be a little bit of conversation in there every now and again. Um, so firstly, before I get started, I'd like to say thank you for stopping by. If you're new to the channel, then feel free to subscribe. I'll be trying to post every other day for the minute until I get my capture card. Is that That's the plan anyway. Uh, I'm looking at getting a Ava Media live gamer portable um that i well i heard someone else talking about in a video i don't quite have the money for an elgato unfortunately that's what i'd like to get but until i can find some money from somewhere uh, get a job hopefully i just applied for some jobs recently that's, i'm hoping i'm going to get one of them uh until i get a job and get some money then there's no guarantee that i'll be able to get one over looking at some reviews of the Ava Media, it seems to be a pretty solid capture card all in all. So yeah, I'm going to start by playing some Deathrun on, I don't know what map this is actually. Uh, it looks familiar, I'm not too sure actually. I've played all the maps, oh I thought I played all the maps on here. Unless they've added some new ones, is there on here? Is there on this board? No? Um, not, I, uh, I don't think I've got to the point where it shows you yet. Anyway, I really enjoy playing Deathrun. I wish I could play it on some like different uh, games. Gmod looks pretty fun with Deathrun as well. But you know, this is this is good enough for me at the minute. I have quite a lot of score. Uh, being Death's quite fun. It's also quite challenging. Someone always is, is always going to win, especially when you use these uh, these strafe boosts. So tricky is to always try and get across the first one as quick as you can and not get killed by it. Oh, I got killed. See, someone always shoots off ahead if you do that. Oh, let's get straight back onto spring. I'm right at the back, got one life left. So every time you go through uh, an ender portal, ender portal, nether portal like that. Oh, ooh, I got lucky there. Every time you go through a nether portal, uh, you gain some more lives. You can see when the button's been pressed on the right hand side. The, the, the clay on the left, if it's green, it means the, they yet to press it. If it goes red, they've just pressed it. Ooh, just made that. And if it's orange, ah, uh, baited them out of that one. And if it's orange, it means it's preparing. Oh, I might be in the lead, I'm not sure actually. I didn't see anyone shoot off ahead of me. Oh wow, yep, yeah, someone just finished and my strafe didn't work. Yeah, sometimes it lags a little bit and oh, watch the TNT, sometimes it lags a little bit and your, your strafe doesn't always work. Didn't quite bait in that guy. So once someone finishes, everyone else has 60 seconds to, to finish the map. It's one of my, my favourite bits in this map. Doing the jump boosts, but you have to wait occasionally because the jump boost doesn't always register. And it killed again. I'm not sure if this is an easy one to beat. Oh, that guy just beat. Oh, I got a second as well. I still get a crystal though, so that's fine. Oh, I finished there. Not too bad. Let's hope I can improve on it in the next death room, and I'll catch you then. Alright, guys, so we're back for the second death room of this video. Uh, probably do one more after this. They're not the quickest things in the world, but I don't want this video to be too long. Um, my housemates all around me pretty much in different rooms and all sleeping, so I can't be staying up too late doing this and I've still got to edit it before I post it. So yeah. Um, I was thinking about using my Xbox headset microphone in the future. I need to pick it up from home, but I'm pretty sure it will be a lot better quality. Uh, for recording on this, these iPhone headphones aren't really that good. I mean, they do the job just fine, 
but I could have a lot better. Oh, good start. Great start, in fact. Aim with the pistons. Boost across that. Jump up this. So, going on, sorry about that. My phone forgot to turn it off vibrate only. Ah, oh, killed by the giant. That is in. Oh, oh, that was. Uh, uh. Sorry about that. I thought I'd switch my phone on to vibrate only just before this, but apparently I hadn't. Let's remember that for the future. Um, so yeah, I recommend anyone trying Death Run on the Satchel. It's, it's pretty good fun. You, I, it's a bit of a challenge at the start. You get used to playing the maps. Uh, this is one of the newer maps. I'm not too familiar with it, but oh, there's TNT here, isn't it? That shouldn't have killed me. I was too far away from that. I shouldn't have got me. Sometimes I just fail on these like completely, and someone's finished again. I uh, see that because sort of, oh, sort of remember where it goes, but not really. I used to be pretty good at these. Uh, I used to play this a lot back in my first year of university, when I was supposed to be studying. I would play Death Run and do builds and stuff like that. Definitely was something that I, I really enjoyed. I still do. Uh, what, I came 8. That is not an improvement on my first run. Sorry about that, guys. I'll catch you in my final one of the day. Alright, guys, welcome back to the third and the final death run of this video. It looks like we're playing the prison. I actually got this one right. I don't really like this map. A lot of people seem to have an obsession with it. It gets voted in a lot of the time, but I never really got why. I prefer there's a map called High City. That was like I'm inside somewhere. That that was one of my my favourite maps. Uh, I always do well on that map. People seem to struggle with it, but I find it the the easiest one. Not I'm saying I'm very good at it, but a lot of people don't seem to like it. Where there's a lot of people like this map. Oh, that was a good start. Boosted into the wall. I'm right in the lead. There's a guy right on my tail. Need to keep going up fast. Boost across that. Boost across that. Flying off ahead. So you get a, a countdown timer on each of the boosts when you use them, and you need to. You have to wait 60 seconds between each one it's to stop it from being overpowered. Sometimes they don't work. That's the most annoying thing when it doesn't work properly and you still get. It still takes you down, so you have to keep going on the time for it. Oh, there's a guy right behind me, right on my tail. I need to keep the speed up, try and maintain the... Oh, he uses boost, try and maintain the, the jumping. Go to the middle. Oh no, I could have got first on this map as well, guys. Oh, boost into the wall. Oh, looks like I'm going to come. Oh, I came four. Ah, that's really annoying. I was gonna, I was right in the lead on that one. I always hate those jump boost sections. You get so much. Sometimes the server just lags in it. It just doesn't work. So sorry about that, guys. Seems I got worse and then got slightly better than my second run, but best in my first run. So that's it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to keep trying to do this sort of stuff. Uh, I will be doing my unique impact obstacle course playthroughs fairly soon and going on to doing uh, some block and load I think. I've been quite enjoying block and load recently, sorry that was my chair squeaking or anything else. Block and load recently so I think I'll be playing some of that. So I'll see you guys later.